Western Reserve University is tracking the impact of the housing crisis here in Northeast Ohio. And its most recent data is stunning, indicating recovery is still years away. Five on your side, troubleshooter Joe Paganakis joins us tonight. And Joe, the number of vacant homes in Cuyahoga County and Cleveland has now topped 43,000. Oh, that's right, Danita. According to data compiled by the Northeast Ohio Community and Neighborhood Data for Organizing Project, better known as NEO Can Do, its findings indicate 7,300 of these vacant homes have been taken over by banks. Computers at NEO Can Do on the Case Western Reserve University campus are taking in new data nearly every day. Statistical information from more than a dozen state, county, city, and nonprofit agencies keep watch on the status of housing in 17 Northeast Ohio counties. It's been a, a snowball effect uh, rolling through. Uh, the region. Professor Claudia Colton co directs Neo Can Do's nationally recognized effort in tracking the housing crisis impact. A half dozen staff members and a number of case students are responsible for compiling housing data that's been used by local lawmakers to shape a housing recovery plan. The data that people really work with has to be updated continuously because it has to be nearly real time. So uh, where possible, we try to refresh the data at least weekly. But Neo Can Do's latest data isn't looking sunny. It reports 102,000 Cleveland and Cuyahoga County homes have been touched by foreclosure since 2006, producing a staggering 43,000 vacant homes, causing the drain on Cleveland property values to reach a crescendo. Sales prices have decreased since 2005 by 50% in the city of Cleveland or 25% in the county as a whole. Neo Can Do Research Associate Michael Schramm agrees demolishing condemned homes that are beyond repair is key to recovery. A recovery Neo Can Do believes is still years away. We have not turned the corner on uh, picking up the pieces and sweeping up from, from this crisis. And Neo Can Do's research is available to the public. The link to its site posted on Newsnet5.com. Meanwhile, we invite you to report vacant and condemned homes in your neighborhood through our Building Better Neighborhoods year-long initiative. If you have one on your block, send an email to bbn at wews.com. I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.